So uh, my topic is uh, very close to Constantinos, of course, as we work on Farcadona as a case study. Um, but from the point of view of cultural heritage, uh, interpreters and uh, managers. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the valorization and interpretation of cultural heritage as a lever for local development. Uh, with a uh, focus on the case study of uh, Farcadona, but with some best practices from the region of Thessaly as well. So Will let's it, have uh, a look uh, at uh, some of the antiquities found in the region of uh, Farcadona and the monuments. Uh, we have uh, things, uh, uh, relics from the past, from a prehistoric age uh, up to the early modern uh, period. And uh, Despite the fact that all these things can be found within the territory of uh, Farcadona, uh, Farcadona is not as developed uh, culturally as it should, uh, as Constantinos has mentioned uh, previously. Now, the municipality of Farcadona is situated between uh, the municipalities of Tricala and Larissa, and that means between two medium to large cities of Thessaly. Thessaly, as Constantinos mentioned, is the central part of, of Greece, basically. Uh, it is uh, not located far from the town of Kalambaka and the rocky formations of Meteora, which is a world heritage monument. And uh, in Kalambaka, one can find a considerable number of museums, uh, some of which are recently founded, such as the Museum of Greek Education, the Museum of Theological Formations, and the Museum of Natural History and Mushrooms Museum. The latter is considered by far a best case practice as it combines visitability with a worldwide caliber of activities such as travel hunting expeditions, which uh, brings us uh, uh, much into your uh, project of the mushrooms, uh, and a strong brand of products including pasta, mushroom based ailments, scented olive oil, mushroom preserves, and the absolutely fabulous mushroom chocolate. Uh, Trikala, on the other hand, is a city with national reputation, both as a smart city and uh, as a location where every winter the elves visit. Christmas theme park, located at the historic Matsopoulos Mill, attracts nearly a million visitors from all over Greece every year, before the COVID-19 outbreak this year. Larissa, uh, to the uh, east of Parcadona is home to important antiquities as well, uh, as of the Diachronic Museum, hosting collections from prehistoric to early modern times. So, situated between these places of interest, Parcadona hides its cultural treasures from the broader public, mainly due to a lack of appreciation and, to some extent, the difficulty of the local community a strong narrative uniting the remains of the ancient city and other settlements of antiquity, the Byzantine castle and churches, the post-Byzantine churches and other monuments, and the area's tradition in pastoral and agricultural practices. Uh, so, Farcadone is in urgent need for heritage interpretation. It is one of those places where the notion of cultural heritage interpretation can be of its utmost value. It is located on a lowland of soft hills blocked by the mountainous, ra mountainous range of Antichasia to the north, uh, which is a protected natural area of Greece. It has a typically agricultural, social, and economic fabric. And its population consists of a mixture of Karenunis, uh, who are the age old settlers of the plain, of Vlachi, uh, the former nomadic people uh, dedicated to animal husbandry the high Pindos range to the west, and of immigrants originating from Pontos uh, who have settled in the area about 26 years ago after the collapse of the former USSR. The region of Farcadona flourished more than one ancient cities, Helena, Farcadona, probably also the Homeric Ichalia. Helena and Farcadon minted their own coins. Helena was found an important coffee tablet in the shape of a leaf. Here you can see some uh, trace with, uh, uh, with Coptic uh, hymns and 
uh, predictions. Uh, very important find, since often linked to magic practices. Uh, in the past, uh, Macabona was uh, known as the land of horse breeding and also rebellious inhabitants. Thessaly, in general, was famous for its horses. It is alluded that the Kefalas, the famous horse of Antonio the Great, was a Thessalian horse, or at least it was so called by a Thessalian version. The horse featured on ancient coins and it still features on the municipality's logo. It is referred by Strabo that Farcado never accepted Macedonia to terminate easily. The soldiers recruited by Alexander for his Asian campaign were never allowed to return uh, home for fear of rebellion. Uh, in the medieval period, uh, it appears that Macedonia was also because in the middle Byzantine period, the region was inhabited by an ethnic nation, half of the two, uh, who were called Vlachs or Un uh, the sources in the second part. This was people whose main activity was running to breed. They were probably the ones to have built the castle of Division, uh, otherwise known uh, today as Castle of Grisano, uh, which was similar to a series of fortresses along central uh, northern uh, uh, Greece from Serbia, Moglena, and Damasi. Regardless of whether it built a port or not, the Plough settled in the area, establishing a route of transhumans in a mountainous range of Pintos to the west. The Plough population of Pacadona acted in the condition of the Plough Pintos, as a cultural route of failures to meet long conditions. Apart from the semi nomadic Plough, consists also of the Karakunides, the local settled farmers with the rich tradition as well. These people, in fact, led one of the earliest revolts against the ancient landowners right after the liberation of the area from the Ottomans. The recently founded Union of Karakunides of Sessel is a promising local agent willing to establish cultural path dedicated to the traditions and daily life that would function also as a key part of the region. Uh, as for the refugee settlers, Farcadona received a considerable amount of them, uh, the region is Pontos, as it said before, uh, but who were formerly living in the ex Soviet republics of Georgia, Kazakhstan, and Armenia. For almost 30 years, these people have been merging their traditions to the local populations, particularly in the field of astronomy. So, despite the fact that Farcadona owns a rich past, and a natural beauty, local people suffer from a certain lack of self-appreciation. Their cultural heritage has not received special attention from the state authorities, particularly from the Ministry of Culture. The Vlachostrata has only recently been acknowledged by uh, UNESCO as intangible cultural heritage. And their agricultural products are mainly bought by big companies at relatively low cost, with little space for manufacture and uh, retail, let alone for development of little entrepreneurship. A systematic plan of cultural heritage and cultural interpretation of Patagona will enable the empowerment of the local population, a bottom-up approach for the valorization of the local uh, tangible and intangible heritage, and the stimulation of local entrepreneurship. For example, an effort will be made to edit and publish a systematic compilation, which has already been carried out, of the municipality's history and heritage. The Women's Cooperative is a very active association which will be empowered to collect and publish recipes, customs, uh, and all kinds of ethnological material, uh, hopefully in an informal Regarding the Union of the Karagounis, a preliminary study for the establishment of a theme park and museum dedicated to drive daily life of the plain to the customs uh, of uh, the Karagounis is already on the way. The park will probably be established within the territory of the municipality of Arcadona, 
is not what the president uh, desired, and will act as a local attraction and as a selling, uh, selling, selling point of local products. Also, the La Costa that will be enhanced uh, will uh, undertake a systematic effort uh, to get La Costa on the touristic map with special events and uh, a well trodden route, uh, hopefully through constructing uh, an app as well. Also, uh, the Castle of Grisano will be enhanced uh, through a route and publication or app and through conservation works if possible. We are trying uh, to uh, get both the University of Thessaly and the local uh, archaeological effort uh, to turn their uh, investigating eye on the monument, uh, uh, apply uh, measures for its uh, enhancement and uh, for making it widely known to the Greek public. And also an effort will be made uh, to rehabilitate old houses, particularly the mansions of Konakia, uh, or not as a big uh, such as this one located in the village of Pivi, and located in the Following the cultural uh, philosophy, uh, we are going to try and encourage micro entrepreneurship, for example, touristic endeavors. Uh, through our cultural plans training, it was made clear that there is an essential development of a minimum of touristic endeavors like agro-tourism, um, training of local guides, guides, experiential tourism, gastronomy tourism, etc. Also, it will be made clear that uh, there is ample space for low key manufacturing like dairies, turkeys, uh, open grenade byproducts. Uh, sweets uh, and pies, wooden products, uh, etc. And I have to admit, I was very impressed by the museum earlier today, and this would also be a very nice idea for the region, uh, which uh, depends a lot on animal husbandry. Finally, innovation is going to be encouraged, uh, uh, both in the field of arts and crafts, uh, and in the field of primary production and manufacturing. An attempt to establish participatory approach to the area's cultural heritage, which also led to the organization of the Wikipedia Hackathon on local monuments and through the effort of establishing a large local festival around the Pisano Fortress. All of the above will be topped by the development of a systematic storytelling, which will let the local narrative emerge from its monuments, its rights, its fields, and the mouths of its people. Cardona can be revived as a former glory of Thessaly and 